Hello, welcome to Technology for Fun Home STEM Projects. This is what we're going to make today. It's a balloon buggy. I'll show you how it works. Oops, it just fell on the floor. Okay, so this is what you need. A piece of corrugated cardboard, a sheet of thin card, a piece of plastic tube, uh, about 16 centimetres long, so this is garden hose, this is the tube from a felt tip pen, two round pencils, 16 centimetres long or longer, or crayons, four plastic milk bottle lids, a balloon and a small rubber band. You'll also need a ruler, a pair of big scissors, some blue tack or uh, modelling clay or play-doh would do, um, a round felt tip pen, it's got to be bigger diameter than the pencil, and some sellotape. Step one is to make the base. So you mark out and cut a rectangle nine centimetres by 14 centimetres from the cardboard. Step two is to make the bearings. So you're going to mark and cut two pieces of card 5 cm by 11 cm. You're going to wrap each piece of card in turn around the felt tip pen. You're going to tape around both ends and then tape along the seam. Now you've got two bearings, you're going to try out the pencil in the bearings and make sure it spins nicely. Step three is to make the first two wheels. You're going to place a bottle lid, open end up, on the blue tack. Press straight down with the pencil to make a hole in the middle. You have to press straight down or you can break the lead. Take it off the blue tack, put a finger either side and twist and push the pencil through the, through the bottle lid until it's at the other end. And then repeat for the second bottle lid and the second pencil. Step four is to make the other two wheels. So you're going to place a bottle lid open and down on the blue tack this time. Make a hole in the middle by pushing straight down. Take it off the blue tack and push it and twist it onto this end of the pencil. Repeat for the final bottle lid. Step five is to attach the bearings. You're going to tape each bearing to the bottom of the base. Be careful not to crush the bearing while you're taping it on. Make sure it sticks out quite evenly either side. Step six is to fit the axles. 
take the wheel off the pointed end of the pencil. Push the pencil through a bearing and then refit the wheel. Be careful not to crush the end of the bearing when you're putting on the wheel. Now, twist the wheels apart slightly so you've got a small gap between the end of the wheel and the end of the bearing. Hold the buggy and spin the wheels to check the axles turn freely in the bearings. Then repeat for the other one. Step seven is to attach the balloon. So you slide the balloon over the end of the plastic tube. Then you hold it on with the rubber band so it doesn't fly off when you blow up the balloon. You might need to twist the rubber band a few times so it holds it on firmly. Then you try blowing up the balloon, make sure it doesn't fly off. Step eight is to attach the tube. You need to tape the tube to the top of the base. Make sure this end is sticking out so that you can blow into it. If the tube is curved, like this garden hose, Make sure this end is curving upwards. This stops the balloon rubbing on the floor as much, so the buggy will go faster. Now you can try out the buggy. Blow up the balloon through the hose. Hold the neck of the balloon, put the buggy on a smooth floor, and then let go. Here are some ideas to improve your buggy. You can decorate it or colour it in. I'm going to put some gems on and a little passenger. You can compare how the buggy moves on different surfaces, such as a smooth floor, carpet and tarmac. Then you can adapt the buggy to run better on rough, rough surfaces. Here I've made an extension to stop the balloon from rubbing on the floor. I'm lucky enough to have my son home from university at the moment. He's studying physics and he's going to explain the science behind the project. When you blow up the balloon, you store energy, both in the form of compressing the air in the balloon relative to the air outside it, and in stretching the balloon itself. This stored energy is called potential energy. The potential energy is then partly converted to kinetic energy as the buggy accelerates across the floor. When you let go of the balloon, a jet of air is pushed out the back of the tube. This acts in a similar way to the jet at the back of a rocket, which pushes the rocket forward. This is a demonstration of Newton's third law. This is a demonstration of Newton's law of gravity. <laughs> Friction acts to slow the buggy down. This is a force between two surfaces which move, or try to move, relative to one another. For example, the balloon rubbing against the floor is a source of friction. Also, the axles turning in the bearings, or the wheels rubbing against the edge of the bearings. In the end, all the potential energy is converted by friction to heat and sound. Thank you for watching. This project is taken from my book, Technology for Fun 1. For more ideas, you can visit my Technology for Fun website.